Good morning, everyone. This is His Word Only. All right, let's get right into God's Word. So today we're going to be reading Numbers chapter 27. As a recap of Numbers chapter 26, we have a census of a new generation. And basically, they counted all the people that were going to go into the land, right? The new generation that was from newborns, basically, all the way up to 20 years old. And it was in the hundreds of thousands, right? <laughs> As they count them all. But anyways, let's move on to Numbers chapter 27. Then came the daughters of Zelophad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Mekur, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, and Hogla, and Milka, and Terza. And they stood before Moses, and before Eleazar the priest, and before the princes and all the congregation, by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord, in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin, and had no sons. Why should the name of our father be done away from among his family, because he hath no son? Give us unto us, er, Give it unto us, therefore, possession among the brethren of our father. And Moses brought their cause before the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, the, daughter, or the daughters of Zelophad speak right. Thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren. And thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, if a man die and have no son, then ye shall cause his inheritance to pass unto his daughter. And if he have no daughter, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his brethren. And if he have no brethren, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his father's brethren. And if his father have no brethren, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his kinsmen that is next to, uh, of him in his family and he shall possess it and he shall be unto the children of Israel a statute of judgment as the Lord commanded Moses and the Lord said unto Moses get thee up into the mount of Eberim and to see the land which I gave it unto the children of Israel and when thou hast seen it thou hast shalt be gathered unto thy people as Aaron thy brother was gathered for ye rebelled against my commandment in the desert of Zin in the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the water before their rise, that is, the water of Meribah, in Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of spirits of all flesh, shed a man over the congregation, which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, which may bring them in, and the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and, they lie, er, and lay thine hand upon him, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. And they shall put some of thine honor upon him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall ask counsel for him after the judgment of Urim before the Lord. At his word shall they go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and the children of Israel with him, even all the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him, and he took Joshua, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation. And he laid his hands upon him, and gave him a charge, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. And that is the end 
of Numbers chapter 27. As a summary of Numbers chapter 27, we have the law of inheritance. So when a person dies, or a man dies, um, if he has a son, it will go to him. If he doesn't have a son, or the inheritance, um, then it goes to the daughter. If he doesn't have a daughter, then it goes to his brethren, and if he doesn't have a brethren, and so on, right? Then it goes to the next of kin in the family. Stuff like that, right? And then we have Joshua succeeding Moses, you know, because Moses is probably pretty close to being on his deathbed. So, um, someone had to succeed him, which was Joshua. And they did all the honor, Eleazar the priest, before everyone, and they gave him charge, you know, basically leadership over the people. But anyways, that's it. Um, I hope you guys were edified, and you guys have a wonderful day.